may be, you need a couple of scriptures to build up, situation, whatever. We all one body part at the end of the day, okay? Yeah, I wish I watched it the second street. Kind. And then it says, for the most high, it's a lot. Yeah, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. Yeah, right. All of us subject one to another and we be clothed with humility. Because every time we come out here, we be humiliated, man. Don't tell them what people be thinking about us and, or even what they shout out. Shop. And they scream at us, man. Or even not just us being out here in the physical part, but on a unicorn. When people come across oh. our videos, you know, for all brothers across the four corners that's teaching yeah. the sincerity and truth. When, when uh, in, Yahweh, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem El Shah, when these people look at your video, or they say it for the first time, they scoffing at you, man. They put in comment board, it's a whole bunch of scoffers. They always quick to be on, the, uh, be on your channel before uh, 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 anybody else, man. And they scoffing. So we being humiliated across the whole earth. Esau think he can media block us. He is doing it, but he thinks that he can keep us on a hush. Because what it is is that they know that through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah and through great millstone from the apostles and down, brothers are speaking the true doctrine of the Lord, man. And it's breaking down all the strongholds, man. So they want to media block us and keep us on the hush. And they got their minion, uh, Nate Satan, nasty Nate Satan, to try to capitalize and do damage work, man. To try to pick up and try to, you know, keep them people sleep out there. Okay, so go ahead. For the Most High resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. Okay, so don't be proud, man. All right, go ahead. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that he may exalt you in due time. Go ahead. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Now that's the point. Casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. So no matter what we going through, cast your cares upon him. That's right. All your cares, cast your burdens upon him. Because why? The Lord cares for you, man. The Lord is merciful unto his righteous. You see that you're doing the work? He gonna look out for you, man. He gonna be there for you, man. The Lord, the Lord is, is, is merciful unto his righteous, man. All right? What? How woman was created. How what? Woman was created. Oh, woman was created from um the Lord created the Lord created woman for man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead. Start from the same family. Alright. Uh, it says, Matthew 6 to 26. Behold the fathers of the air, for they so not, neither do they reap, right. nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto your stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the, consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so cloth the grass of the field, what which today is, and tomorrow is cast from the oven, shall he not much more clothe you? See? So if the Lord take care of the earth and take care of the animals, you think he ain't gonna take care of you? The Lord knows the things we already need. So go ahead. O ye little, O ye of little faith. O ye of little faith. And that's what we have to pray for, like Apostle Gabor put out in this video, man. Brothers should be praying for more faith. Me, myself, and I, I'm trying to pray for more faith. You know, you can never have enough faith. You can never have enough faith. There's no limit to faith. Ain't no telling what situation you going through, man. It's, the Lord know, knows there's always something new to put you through that you ain't never did. Look, even your car. Your car break down. Oh, I went through that. Your car break down. I went through that. I know about that. But then it'd be something on your car. You'd be like, damn, I don't know what that is. Then yeah. something, uh, something other new you don't know. That never happened to you before. So the Lord knows how to chastise you, man. All right? Go ahead. It says, wherefore, take no thought. Saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink? Right, and that's referring to what? Now and also in the latter days, man. In these darkest hours, okay? Go ahead. And it says, wherewith shall we be clothed? For, our, for after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Yeah, do it after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Go ahead. It says, for your heavenly Father know that ye need of all these things. Yeah, after all these things the Gentiles seek because guess what? two-thirds of our people they Gentiles man all right even though they the seed of Israel they carnal minded man and you got um 
the heathens, they carnal minded, man. They don't have faith. But who I swear they just be good if the Man, I'd just be good if I could get my hands on five or six thousand. That's carnal minded. They ain't thinking about the Lord. They just like, I just need a certain amount of money and I'm straight. You yep. know what I'm saying? And just like Edom, we was going over that, the doomsday preppers, man. You got heathens doomsday prepping. You know, you got some of them saying, I'm good if I leave out of the United States. Right. You ain't good, because guess what? If you ain't hitting with the destruction, when the Lord send them new bodies back in the earth off them chariots, you gonna be the first ones going to slavery. <laughs> so you ain't good. Go ahead, huh? Yeah, because it's an island um, that they headed to that uh, they actually said that the pterodactyls, the birds, the dinosaurs, they still here. And I got a couple of videos that you can see them, but you know, they said it's off this island over there, but that's what Esau headed to. It's like a, uh, what they under? They like my, uh, I forgot, it's locked in. I'll show y'all later, but go ahead. You got a lot of elites going there. Yeah. Yeah. But we know through the scriptures, the Lord do got dinosaurs still in the earth, man. You got, what's that dinosaur, the long neck that's in Africa? They showed you that in King Kong. Because King the Kong neck? was from like somewhere else. But they flew him to like the city. But you could compare the world that he left to New York. You wouldn't even, you'd think that was two different time frames. You know what I'm saying? So we know these devils ain't explore the whole earth. They ain't even explore the whole rainforest. You know what I'm saying? You got various animals in different rainforests that they ain't even explored yet. But the Lord gonna either bring it out in these last days or bring it out in the kingdom. That's what's gonna make the king. Remember, what made Solomon kingdom glorious? He had animals from the Americas. You know what I'm saying? That was indigenous to over there. So what? And he said, I will build the house of David as in the days of old. You know what I'm saying? Even though that was Solomon, but that was under David's rule. So when it's come back, if Solomon had animals that they didn't see before us in the kingdom, we gonna have animals that they didn't see before on this side. No hybrid shit, real shit that the Lord created that was over here that he revealed in his time. Like Leviathan and so on, you know? Look, this shit right here, this is in Africa, still. Right here, that's it. Brontosaurus. Yeah. Them, they, they, they eat veggie eaters though, right? Yeah, veggie eaters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, what's that script in Wisdom of Solomon? Uh, wait, what's this? A, a, uh, a, uh, what, what, what's that script you be pulling? In Wisdom of Solomon, they breathe fire out their mouth. It's another one that island. I'll show y'all later, but it's the one in that island where, uh, about Wisdom of Solomon. Where it say breathe fire out his mouth? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Beast Miller yeah. created. Well, you know, it was like 16 and 11. It was in Solomon 16 and 11. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. It says, Take therefore no thought. For, for the morrow, right. for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. See, take no thought for tomorrow, because tomorrow shall take thought for itself. Tomorrow could be the kingdom. Right. The Lord could bring the kingdom tomorrow. So why are you thinking longevity or yeah, thinking, you know, uh, uh, years later about people with jobs and all this and that? Tomorrow could be the kingdom, man. So go ahead. Huh? It says, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient right. to the day is the evil thereof. Yeah, like, think about tomorrow. Why would you even want to still think about uh, uh, dealing with another day even being this fucking hell? You know, why would you even want to think about being here again, seeing more fucking faggots and lesbians and black women running a goddamn mouth? Don't even bother to worry about the next fucking day, man. Now I wake up in the fucking morning, I'm like, God damn, that's this goddamn hell. I'm gonna jump back to verse 30, Matthew 6 and 30. But wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, what today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Right, tomorrow cast into the oven, because tomorrow could be the destruction upon the America, man. So with that, you know what I'm saying? Always seek the kingdom first, man. You know? 
try to use wisdom in every decision you make, man, while being in this truth. And with that, we want to give all praises to your how about Shimmy Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much love, prayers, blessings, and salutations to the elect that's teaching this word and sincerity and truth. And that's teaching in the name of your how about Shimmy Abishah and death to America. Death to America!